Hey, what's up, you guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 248. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor, Elgato Gaming, and the HD60S capture card, the green screen behind me, and of course, the key lights that are brightening everything up. If you guys are aspiring content creators looking to up your game, then of course, check down below in the description uh, where you can find my Elgato link, and it will take you to my profile page uh, where all of these products can be found. So, let's get into today's episode then uh, i'm gonna start things off i ended up getting another foot swap player um which is my seventh and also bear with me still ill still very nasal apologies that i don't sound like normal lasty uh hopefully that'll be getting better in the, over the next few days um but with foot swap this month i've missed quite a lot of them and i decided that rather than <laughs> like saving up one more to get eight and then get a 100k pack i would just take like a 91 rated inform which is probably a good idea really isn't it uh because it will help me out and it will actually help me out in today's episode so we take 91 rated james rodriguez uh, and guys if you do enjoy today's video do me a massive favor hit that thumbs up button uh let's smash those likes on today's episode if we can get anywhere near 2000 that would be amazing and of course don't forget to subscribe Turn that notification bell on if you haven't already. Just ring that bell down below in the description uh, and uh, you'll never miss an upload. So, yeah. The next thing I did, EA did give us some upgrade packs. They're not the ones that we wanted or expected. And they are definitely more expensive than the ones we got last year. Um, but hey, we got some upgrade packs. Uh, the, the initial feedback from the community was these are not the ones we want. Uh, and also with the better one, the 81 plus, the feedback was that, well, it's crazy that you have to put 11 rare Prem players in. It would be more acceptable if it was just 11 rare golds from any league. So I fed that back instantly. Uh, whether or not we see anything come of that, I don't know. Uh, but... I wanted to do my part and, and obviously take in what the community says they want and, you know, feed it back. So, yeah, we'll see. But um, I, I did a whole bunch of these because Prem Tots is my favorite week of the year. Prem Tots is legit my most important promo for me because my team is mainly Prem. Pretty much always. It's the league that I obviously watch the most and the league that i enjoy the most and that has got a lot of the players that i enjoy the most so typically although it's not a super crazy cool hybrid i do always want to pretty much build a, a strong premier league team um as my main squad and having upgrade packs to do in prem tots is pretty important now whether or not these change and get better over the weeks to come my club won't really be ready for it because I'm shoving pretty much everything into the bad packs that I can and then as much as I can try and get the good 81 plus prem packs as well because that's where the tots are going to be found. And from what I could see on my timeline, everyone was packing them like crazy. There were, there was, this week has been pretty dry for people actually packing the blues from the prem and all of a sudden at like midnight or whenever they drop these spcs i just started seeing a wave of blue on my timeline so yeah it was kind of crazy we actually get a walkout from one of these bad packs but it's not tots um it's unfortunately uh, it's an 87 like it's alexis sanchez I, like, it'll be useful for something but it's just not <laughs> you want to see that blue ring pop up don't you and then you want to see uh, the tots card but it, unfortunately it wasn't to be so um i i basically used all of the i've kind of gone off the league spc route now so i used a lot of the non-rare golds that were from even leagues like the turkish league and stuff because I'm at a bit of a rut in the league SBC stuff and I wanted to put as much as I could into the Prem packs So we got like 20 plus like um, Yeah, more than 20 of these packs Which are the three player packs with one rare and I was hoping that maybe we could get lucky and pack something in in those um, Failing that what it would give us is a whole bunch of uh, Premier League players that we could recycle again into a few more of these bad packs uh, or a few rare Premier League players that we could recycle into the better packs, which I guess is the grind. It's just a lot more costly and um, narrow than it was last year, which is very, very disappointing, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, it's not looking great. Yeah, we've got one walkout, which is fair and fine and stuff. It's Alexis Sanchez. But other than that, in these, uh, in these like, 22... Uh, three player packs. I just I didn't really get anything else. 
we might have got the odd like Kepa or something like that, but it wasn't it wasn't anything to write home about. Nothing crazy, nothing blue popped out of them. Uh, but what it did give us was the players to then work with to maybe get a couple of these packs done um, using stuff from our club. But what it had cost me is a lot of non rares from leagues which do have league SBCs, leagues which don't have league SBCs. Uh, although I think I pretty much kept a lot of the players from uh, Ligue 1, Serie A, um, uh, Bundesliga and La Liga as well. Like I think I kept mainly those golds just because for these packs next week, whatever, is it Bundesliga we think next week? If it was Bundesliga next week and we needed Bundesliga rares to get their 81 plus packs, then yeah, I would want to maybe do a couple of them. So I decided not to get rid of absolutely everything. Um, so we were able to complete a couple, literally only a couple uh, of these 81 plus packs. And I was hoping that they were going to be decent uh, because this is the ones which I see everyone getting crazy stuff from. But mm, the first one we get boards, but it's not a walkout or anything. We end up getting ourselves Greek centre back from Arsenal, which of course is uh, Socrates, 84. You know, it's all right. It's, it's useful because... You can use it in an SBC where you need a Prem player, but not really anything to write home about again. And then in the second pack, we get boards once again, and this time is going to be Spanish goalkeeper from Chelsea, which uh, the, the, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that I already packed in the slightly lesser packs. So this is a duplicate untradeable. And it's weird what having a duplicate untradeable player will make you do. And I decided that, well, it's not something that I just decided on the spot then and there. But I went out and I decided to buy a whole bunch of players because I knew I had now a fair chunk of stuff in my club that I could use to go ahead and complete the flashback Firmino, or flashback Tots Firmino, whatever it actually is. Um, I'm going to get that flashback Firmino today because he looks insanely, insanely good. I think he could be an end game player for us. Someone that links to both Ronaldinho and Van Dijk. And, well, of course, uh, Robertson after yesterday's Tots pack pool. So I had a little look at it for a while uh, behind the scenes. Tried to figure out what players I could use where and how much it would then actually cost me. And it literally will cost me, pretty much on the dot, 350,000 coins for someone who is about 730,000 coins to attain. So we managed to shave off nearly 400k, or at least half of the overall SBC price from things that we've got in our club, whether it be um, informed Julian Brandt that we packed a little while back, the 91 rated uh, James Rodriguez that we picked up today from FootSwap for absolutely free. Stuff like that uh, will enable me to save a lot of money and pick up a player which I think is going to be insanely good for a total coin price today of about 350,000 coins, uh, which is obviously a lot less than what it would cost me to pick up, let's say, a Tots Hyungmin Son, although Son's probably better, right? But yeah, you know, the, the coin value of a tradable player versus an SBC player where you can use stuff from your club is obviously a lot less. So we use this stuff right here, um, and yes, that's right. Once to watch, Allison is gone. Uh, I needed a Liverpool player, I needed a high-rated squad, and I actually decided to get rid of my main starting number one goalkeeper uh 88 rated allison uh so he's gone he, see you later allison uh, there is a tots out which i'm hoping at some point maybe we'll pack uh or get in our awards or something you'll see that tomorrow by the way i'm super excited for that but um yeah, I decided to get rid of that amongst some foot swap players and the 91 rated Hammers Rodriguez. And then this is another squad that I'm getting rid of a whole bunch of special players from. You'll see uh, Jao Felix, <coughs> Ducore, um, Shah, Odegaard, Brandt in red, 87 Arnautovic I'm going to get rid of today because... I'm never going to use him again, and he's not going to get upgraded now that the season's finished. So it's just an 87. I hoped back in the day that there would be a chance we'd get a couple of upgrades on that Arnautovic, but it just it wasn't to be. We never ended up getting it. Um, and uh, flashback Firmino is done. We've managed to, to get him done with stuff from our club. So the club's now pretty empty in terms of special items and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, but what we do have is a crazy rated... Crazy statted uh, center forward 93 Roberto Firmino. Flashback to his tots last year. Uh, this guy has got 90 pace. 
He's got 94 dribbling, 93 shooting, 92 passing, and 90 physical, which is kind of mad. Now, we used Footmas Firmino for a very long time. I would say Firmino, Mbappe, and Ronaldo are like three staple players that we've used this year that have really helped us along our way. So, it's only, it's almost like poetry that we get him back again. So, welcome Bobby Firmino, just take a look at those stats, guys. He's going to be a ridiculous player in our attack. I'm hopeful anyway, because yes, he has cost us a fair whack. 350k and a whole bunch of stuff from the club. Uh, so we're chilling with three packs to open up here now. The first one we don't get a walkout from, but we do actually see the blue flares, which means it's going to be a Saudi Tots, and it is a lower rated one. It is a left back who... He's only 83 rated and is only like 11,000 coins. Nothing crazy, but it's cool. We packed a blue, right? Um, so I'll take that over not packing anything or just getting like a, <coughs> I don't know, like a Meza Urzel, you know, even if you get the walkout and get hyped and then it isn't anything good. I'd rather just take the blue, which isn't a walkout, to be honest. Next up, then, you see the Argentine badges come through, uh, which unfortunately means it's going to be Ava Banega, 83 rated. Uh, just a little quick cut there, as I nearly completely exploded. Ugh, I, I, I hate nasal congestion. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I hate it. Uh, but we move on to what is going to be the final pack here, which is a rare mega pack. And we don't get a walkout, but we do get boards. Uh, and it's going to be Uruguayan centre-back from Atletico, which of course means it's going to be Jose Maria Jimenez, uh, 84 overall, which I'll take. You know, it's someone which either sells at some point in time for like 8k or... We keep, we use, you know, we probably would need him for the Atletico League SBC if we wanted to go ahead and do the, the La Liga League SBC again. So what we do now is put Bobby into this starting eleven. Um, he replaces the lone Eusebio that's there right now, which we wouldn't have probably used anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I think this is what I'm going to do, guys. I think I'm going to start with a five at the back. Getting Robertson was a, a bit of a, left me with a bit of a, in a bit of a pickle because I really like Marcus Alonso and I love him at DM. So, what we're probably going to do now is start him on 7 chem, or maybe we can flip it so that Robertson starts 7 chem. Whichever way, like, like whoever loses the least stats, or maybe Robertson's got a lot more stats that are closer to 99, so he actually doesn't change or get affected on 7 chem. Whatever we do, um, we're going to do that so that I can still play Alonso at DM, because I think he's one of the best in the game, unless you've got, like, Vieira or Hullet or whatever. Um, so, that's the plan. You will have noticed in my starting 11 that I only had a starting 10 because I actually don't have a goalkeeper right now. Uh, with the 750,000 coins that we've got, I am obviously just waiting to open my rewards, which I will have opened by the time you're watching this. And I probably will have started making some of those changes in the team ready for the weekend league um, because I hope... That the tots prices would plummet with everyone getting tots rewards and then i imagine they'll go back up again so there's that short window which is nearly over now at this point in time when you're watching this where i reckon the prem tots players will be at nearly their cheapest and then they're going to skyrocket for the weekend league so i'm going to try and pick up if i don't manage to pack them like an allison or an edison uh a genie wynaldum or if I can if I can stretch to someone like Mane, I would love to get someone like Mane in the squad. Even though he'd be off chem because we got Ronaldinho, one of them would be off chem. Um, although I definitely need to get a goalie, like 100% need to get a goalkeeper. I don't have one right now. Uh, so yeah, th those are like the players that I kind of want. And they're all like Liverpool players, which is weird because I'm nearly turning my whole squad into a Liverpool team. And I'm not a Liverpool fan per se at all. I like to see them do well, but... Um, I'm definitely not a Liverpool fan. So after doing a whole bunch of the, the slightly worse upgrade SBCs, I put all what I had left into one of the 81 plus packs. And ladies and gentlemen, we managed to get ourselves a Manchester City 94 rated team of the season, Laporte. Um, which obviously is a little bit of a downer. When you see that French flag, you just hope and pray that you're getting Lacazette. But to be honest... I just hope that I got a tot. And when I saw that it wasn't going to be Madison or Doherty, uh, I was obviously very, very happy. So, we did manage to pack from the upgrade packs. We did manage to go ahead and get ourselves a Premier League team of the season. So, now we actually have 
uh, Alderweireld, who probably gets superseded by Laporte. Um, and Laporte is actually going to, for now, take over the spot of David Luiz. Because I think we should probably give him a go. I think defensive-wise, he's probably better. I don't know if David Luiz is more meta. I don't know. But uh, I feel like that's how we're going to start the team. Unless we can bring in other, any other improvements. And obviously put a goalkeeper in there. Now, guys... Um, I nearly tagged on another five minutes or so of me doing a whole nother bunch of the upgrade packs, some of the worst ones, and then uh, I was able to, from that, get one more 81 plus SBC. <coughs> Excuse me. I got literally nothing out of it. They were bad packs. I didn't get anything good, and um, I've literally lost like 500 players from my club now. So... We did that and we got Laporte. I should have stopped there. I carried on a little bit longer so that I could try and get another Tots. And I went too far and didn't have enough to get anything crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there for now unless I get some good stuff in my rewards. Which you'll see tomorrow. And I'm super excited for. Probably the most excited I've been this FIFA for anything. Apart from the Premier League guaranteed Tots pack the other day. Uh, guys, do me a massive favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, um, follow the social media, Twitter and Instagram. They've been going off lately. I've actually got a giveaway going away on Twitter at the moment. Check the description for that if you want to win a Stream Deck Mini from Elgato. That would be pretty awesome if you could participate by retweeting and following and all of that good stuff. Most importantly though, guys, hope you have a lovely day. Best of luck in your rewards if you haven't opened them yet or hope you got something good uh, and I'll show you mine tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.